Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the leak code question, Teemo attacking. All right, so real quickly, uh, Teemo is basically a character in this game called League of Legends. I personally know it because that's the only video game I really play. But anyways, what's happening in this question is that this character Teemo is attacking another character called Ash. And uh, what Teemo does is when he attacks someone, he has something called a poison. And in this case, that poison lasts for a specific duration. And that duration is given to us. So for example, in this example, uh, two is going to be the duration it lasts for. And along with the duration, we're also given a time series. And for, over, uh, for example, over here, we're given a time series of 1, 4. And what that's telling us is that the first attack was done at the first uh, time or first second or whatever the time unit is. And the second attack was done at the fourth unit. So what we want to do in this question is we want to output the total time uh, that Ash is in the poison condition. Okay, so real quickly, let's just go through this example by example. So first, let's do this example, 1, 4, and then 2. So 1, 4 is the time series, and 2 over here is the duration that we're given. So what does this mean? So that means that first, Timo attacks Ash at the first point, and that means that it's going to last for a duration of 2. So that lasts over here. And by the way, the duration is effective immediately. So at one and at two. So that's a total of two. So currently Ash is poisoned for a total of a duration of two. Well, the second time Ash is poisoned is at the duration of four. So at the duration of four again, uh, we have two more poison marks So at four and five. So what is the total amount of time Ash is poisoned for? The answer is four. The question itself is pretty simple, and as you can see, it's also for here. And let's just do one more example, 1, 2, and 2. So let's just do that real quickly. So we have 1, 2 over here, and the, we have 2 over here. Same thing, again, 1, 2 is the time series, and 2 is the duration for how long the poison lasts for. So over here, at 1, so we have 2 poison marks over here. Now, how this question becomes a little bit tricky is the fact that at 2 over here, we're already poisoned. And once you're already poisoned, you can't, you still stay in that state until the duration is over. So when Timo attacks Ash for the second time, we're going to add the poison here, but we don't need to do that already since the poison already exists. So we can skip that and do the second duration, which is over here. So in this case, even though we're attacking Ash two times, the poison only lasts for a total of three times. Okay, so now that you understand how this works, let's see how we can solve this question. And let's just look at another example over here. So this is the example that we're going to go be going over. So 1, 4, 5, that's the time series. And 2 is the duration. So how we're going to solve this is going to be like this. So we're going to start off with the variable. Let's just call this a total. So this is how long Ash is poisoned for. And in the beginning, Ash is going to be poisoned for 0 seconds, okay? So we start off with the total value being 0. So now what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through everything inside of our time series for everything but the ending. So everything but the last one. So in this case, we're going to do 1 and 4 and that's it. So we're only going to iterate everything up to the last but one value. And now what we're going to do as we're iterating over here, we're going to be taking the minimum. So for currently, we're at the value 1. So once we're at 1, we're going to go to 4. So the next value. So after 1, we have 4. And that value is 4 minus 1. And we're going to be comparing this with the duration that we have, which is 2. So we choose the minimum between the value 3 and 2. Okay, so now let's understand why are we choosing the minimum. So what we're choosing over here is how long we want to count the poison to last for, for the specific instance of 1. So in this case, it's either 3 or 2. And the truth is our poison cannot last for a total of three and it can last for two. So we're going to end up choosing the minimum. So in this case, let's just draw that out. So we have one over here and one over here. Now we're also going to increase our total. So plus two. Now our total has a value of two. If this doesn't make sense, it should make sense really soon once we go through it at the, to the next example. Okay. So finally over here, let's go to the next value, which over here is four. So we have four and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to take the minimum between the next value, so 5, minus the current value, which is 4. So 5 minus 4 ends up giving us a value of 1. And the second value over here is 2. So what do we choose? The minimum between 1 and 2 is going to give us a value of 1. 
So over here, we're going to choose one. Now, why exactly are we doing that? This is telling us that the fourth value has an effect of only one time interval. So over here, we're only ticking one time. So the poison affects only one time. So we're going to cross this off over here and we're going to add one. So now we have two plus one giving us three. So now what happens is at the very ending over here, we haven't accounted for the very ending over here yet. So the truth is at the very ending, we're always going to get the full thing. So we're going to get the complete duration. So we're not going to be making any comparisons. We're just going to take the complete duration as it is. So in this case, that's a duration of two. So that gives us five and six. And now we add plus two over here, giving us a total of five. And five is our answer. And if this still doesn't make any sense, let's just go through this real quickly. So what's happening over here is in the beginning, at the point one, where uh, the poison is affecting one and two. So that's why we drew two over here, right? So at point at this instance over here, we're affecting it over here and over here. Now the next time what's happening is we go to four. So at four, the poison is only affecting the value four. And it actually also affects five, but we did not account for that because we're already going to be accounting for five the next time. So next time what happens is we go to the next value, which is five, and at five, we're always going to be taking the complete duration, which in this case is two. So that accounts for five and six. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can implement this in code and let's just do that real quick. So we're going to start off by checking if our time series actually has something in it. So if our time series is empty, so to do that, we can do if not time series. So that means that there's nothing inside of it. Then in that case, we're just directly going to end up returning zero since Ash never got attacked. So now in our second condition, we're over here, we're going to declare our total value. So our total is going to start off at the value zero. Okay, so after this, we're going to be iterating through our time series. So to do that, we can just do for x in range, and we're going to be going through the length of our time series. But one more thing is that we're not getting each and every value. We're only going to go up to the last but one value. So we're going to do the length of time series minus one. Okay, so now that we have this, we want to add that value to our total. So total plus equal, so we're adding the value, but which value are we going to add? So over here, we're going to be adding the minimum. So over here, we're going to go to the time series and we're going to go to X plus one and subtract that by the current time series we're on. So time series X. So what we're doing here is we're finding the difference between our current time series to the next time series. And the reason we chose the next time series minus the current time series is because we want a positive value and obviously the next time series is going to have a higher value than our current time series. So that's what we're doing over here. And we're going to choose the minimum between this value and the second value that we want to choose the minimum between is our duration. So we're going to take the minimum between those two and we're going to add that to our total. And that's really it. So at the ending of this, we're going to return our total. But one thing you want to notice is that by doing this, we get everything but the last value. So we want to account for the last value. And in order to account for the last value, what we're going to do is we're going to add the duration to this. So our last value is going to exist for the entire duration, no matter what. So that is exactly how we're going to account for this. And this also makes more sense because let's say we only have one value, then in that case, we're just going to go total plus duration. And the total is just going to be zero in that case. So this is what's happening. And one more thing if uh, one more thing you could do instead is you could just make this the duration over here. So initialize the total as duration and directly just return the total. Okay, anyways, either of them should work and submit. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching guys. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe if the video helped you. Thank you.